Hey everybody, if you start off GIMP and it looks something like this with floatable dockable dialogues here, click on Windows Single Window Mode to get it to be in a single window. Windows Single Window Mode. At this point, I have tools and two dockable dialogues, tool options, and layers showing on my screen. If I want to add some more of the dockable dialogues, click on Windows, Dockable Dialogues, and just click on a tab. So the new ones that I've added, added over here alongside layers in this dockable dialog. You can move each tab around just until you see a blue line. Let go and you can add it to the left or the right. You can take any tab and move it to the bottom or the top of a column. Once you see the blue line, then you're good to go. You can take a tab and move it to the left side of your tools. You can take the same tab or any tab, move it to the right. Even on the bottom or beneath the tools, you can take a tab, move it beneath the tools and uh, whatever you have underneath the tools. You can't take a tab and move it above the tools. The tools are special and they always stay in the particular corner of where you started, usually in the upper left. Also, each section that has a tab has this little button where you can add more tabs. Or select any tab in the box and click on this button and close the tab to get rid of it. If you accidentally take a tab and move it to the middle of the screen, you'll get a floating box. If you click on the middle part and try to move it back, it won't work and you won't get the blue line. You have to click on the actual tab itself and then move it to where you see the blue line or inside the other dockable dialog. If you like the way that your tabs are set up, but you just want to hide them temporarily, so let's say you want more screen room in the middle just for a little while, click on Windows and Hide Docs. Your docs are still there, they're just in the background so that you can use this full screen space temporarily. Click on Windows and Hide Docs to get them back. Now if you actually close a tab, and you want to get it back, you have to go into Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and add it back here. Well, what about this up here, Recently Closed Docs? You'll notice that it's empty even though I just closed a couple of things. Well, GIMP is interesting. It only counts certain types of dockable dialogues for this functionality of Recently Closed Docs. If you have a tab, let's make a couple more here. Channels and Color Map. If I take channels and drag it to the middle and create a floating box here, then I close the tab Windows, recently closed docs. Ooh, it's empty. Let's try that again. Let's take a tab here and put it in the middle. And instead of closing the tab this way, we'll hit X for the whole box. Windows, recently closed docs. It's still empty. All right. Well, let's add a tab again. Let's put that histogram back. Move that in the middle. But this time, let's add one more tab to it. brushes. Now this box has two tabs in it and I click on X to get rid of it and hit Windows, Recently Closed Docs, and there it is. So that's the only time that you're going to find when you close an actual dockable dialog that this will work in single window mode. Well just for fun, let's do some work in the multiple window mode or separate window mode as I call it. If you want to move your tabs around. It's very similar as what we did before. However, uh, all these things are in floatable dockable dialogues and they don't even dock. So that's the funny thing about that word that, that seems to work only in single window mode. Uh, if you want to have your screen set up just the way you'd like it, uh, you can do that. But then I find it a lot more complicated than just using the Windows single window mode. But here's a trick. If you want your tools which is here, not a dockable dialog, but your tools to show up on the right side in your Windows single window mode. Well, here's how you do that. Let's go back out of single window mode. 
move your tools to the right side of the screen, then click on Windows Single Window Mode, and there they are on the right. Now, going forward in my tutorials, I'm always going to have my dockable dialogues in the same places, and that includes my toolbox being to the left in single window mode and turning off all the tabs on the left except for tool options. I want my tools on top and tool options on the bottom. Over to the right, I want one tab only and that is the layers tab. Any other tabs showing up for much of what we're gonna do, I want closed at this time. And that's the great part about GIMP is that you can set up your dockable dialogues any way you'd like for whether you're doing et photo editing or art or anything else, it's very flexible. Anyway, this is how we're gonna have it going forward. I'm Anthony and thanks for watching.